welcome back viewers to the final lecture of this section in this lecture we will this I will tell you some more uh, functions about uh, displaying data I mean you can use in MySQL query basically uh, data by order in MySQL where condition in MySQL limit condition and other conditions like that so here uh, on this page we can insert data so I will insert a few more records here I will add a person and I will add one more record like uh, Khan Khan and Khan at gmail.com is just demi data okay there is nothing special uh, and uh, Raza 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 at gmail.com so we have <coughs> some records here you can see now if you observe these serial numbers are now different because these are IDs directly coming from this uh, table so they are now different I mean some we have deleted so they cannot be inserted again so if you w if, if if we want this in order then we can simply go to this form.php page and can create a variable here I mean the next clause when we fetch the data can create a variable with the i and make it zero and after that just inside the loop make it plus plus as I told you while I was telling you loops in a previous lecture so we created a variable which starts initialized with zero value that is i and inside the while loop we have added two pluses to this so it will be incremented and we can now instead of user id we can just echo that i variable control s to control s to save and refresh the page and you can see one two three four five like that that's done now the next thing is if you want to because the last users you get the last user just at the end if you want that on the top on this table because this user we insert it lastly if you want that user on the top then for that you can add something to this uh, query like select all from users order by one e c a uh, s e sending sorry e c e s order by one e sending e sending mean from uh, from bottom to top so just refresh the page I want to be my skill volumes in that uh, there is some problem in this users order by one e sending now we have to add limit as well uh, so I will say limit 0 to 5 and save the page fresh no there is no issue of the limit the problem is in this order by one sending so e sending uh, let me check this function here on Google order by e sending order by E sending and descending DESC that is descending and E sending or 
do. Yes, ESC. Come back, refresh the page, and you can see. Uh, but still, this person is on. Okay, this is E sending. We want D E S C descending. Yes, now it's okay, it's fine. So we can close this. Basically, select all from users, order by 1 D E S C. Actually, I forgot this keyword properly. So E sending is by default from top to bottom and this is from bottom to top basically so when you now insert a new user for example Shahid Shahid and Shahid at gmail.com search data you can see this is on the top the first one is this so this is one thing now you can limit this because there are six records you can see all are coming from the database I mean all the records in the table you can limit them from one to three one then comma three there will be only three records you can see only three if you add five there will be five you can see five and something like that and you can also randomly you can say order by order by one rent you can use a rent function and limit 0 to 5 so randomly randomly display 5 records from the table mm, order by one okay one leave the one press the page you can see now randomly it will display five results again refresh I refresh you can see the changes randomly it is now showing me five fields or five records or five users from my database or my table randomly this is something you can do here uh, in the query and if you want to say select all from users uh, where I already have told you the, about the where condition we have used that <coughs> many times which you can use for a specific user and you can also uh, write the query like this select select user name from users where id is equal to this id i mean you can write like this as well select user name from users where id uh, this you can write or you can also uh, right like select all from users where ID is equal to this or something like that so this is actually I wanted to tell you a little bit of more about you know you can use basic functions inside the query mysql query so I hope uh, this was helpful for you and with this last uh, I mean lecture of this section we will wind up this section and after this section now we'll start creating small projects, small applications, and then we'll create a complete registration form with different, you know, fields and different all the validation etc. And at the end of the day, we will create an, we will create a voting system, and then there will be an introduction about object-oriented programming as well. So stay tuned.